If anything happened to me, hold the video responsible. That is what is coming in from Dami Green as he confirms that he has been arrested uh, because of defamation of character on a person of David o. That is what is coming to us and a lot of people are really responding to this story right now. Remember that this guy spoke you know, a lot of things against David o, which he may not be able to defend in court. That is what I kind of understand by this whole thing because when you are speaking against somebody, you should understand that you need to back it up with facts. You know, not making assumptions about person, especially when it comes to a murder case like the case of Tagbo. He took to his um, you know Twitter page to actually post a lot of things about all of this and saying that David o has actually made them to arrest him, that they are trying to frame me up and other things. Yes, they want to question you so that you will get to explain and answer a lot of things and especially some issues you raised at the time because a lot of people were cautioning you you didn't seem to understand about uh, the implication of what you've been saying against a person of david o. that is what it is for them Crane. this guy went ahead to say you know what david o has a hand in the death of tagbo and he posted a video and made a lot of statements this is you know proud to david o's uh, Chama's wedding at the time maybe he was looking forward to you know, kind of tarnishing the image of David o or destroying the relationship between Joma and David o at that time. A lot of people have been cautioning this guy. Even Burner Boy went out of his way to caution this guy for making a particular statement against David o. But he didn't listen. Right now, he's been arrested. Who go help him out? We well, remember the story of Dami Crane when he was arrested in the US for, you know, fake or uh, fraudulent, um, you know, activities. And David o, the likes of David o and uh, Two Face Dibia, also some persons came to the rescue of this guy. But he was quick to forget about all of this. And right now, he took to David o and calling out David o, saying that David o is owing him a lot of money and royalties and other things because he did something for David o. And David o also spoke about his own part that he gifted him a lot of songs also just to blow his career but this guy not blow at the end of the day then he took to like you know dragging the video on social media accusing the video of a lot of uh, evil things on social media he's been arrested that is what it is and this guy is crying on social media what kind of um you know advice do you have for dami crane on this i want you to leave that in the comment section so that you can talk about it I believe that it's going to be a long day in court for Dami Crane because he has to like, you know, defend all those things and bring about facts about all of this or apologize and pay some money to Davido or serve a J10. <laughs> Man, some people are influential, Sha. That is something I got to understand about the story of Cristiano Ronaldo. Less than three hours of this guy, you know, launching a YouTube channel, he was able to get a million subscribers to that YouTube channel. And same day, a golden play button was sent down to Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's catch a glimpse first. <laughs> What is your own take about this? Cristiano Ronaldo was able to surpass Lionel Messi's 18-year-old uh, YouTube channel in 24 hours, having about 4 point something million subscribers to his channel. That is a big number. That is to show you that this guy has stand test of popularity to an extent. And I think uh, one of the most popular person on earth is Cristiano Ronaldo. That is something I'm beginning to believe about his own story right now. Yes, this is not the first time of me coming out to talk about issue of copyright, issue of royalties, especially within the Nigerian music space. I think a lot of people need to abide by the rules and that is what it is. If you are able to pay royalties to you know, foreign artists when you sample their songs or when they feature in your songs, why not do that to local artists? And the only person I kind of respect in that light is a person of David o to an extent because when you write a song for David o, be sure to get your royalties and that was confirmed by the likes of uh, uh, logos i think uh, right now uh, a person of lacon is coming out to drag dj neptune over nobody's song they did together according to him he said they had an agreement to get some kind of a share of that particular royalties and right now it's not been sent to him for over four years how far now that is what he
he is really saying and saying that why did it take all this kind of time that is what it is but you need to actually understand that in nigeria most people don't respect the issue of royalties they don't respect copyright and sampling laws and other things that is really affecting the nigerian music industry to an extent because we need to strengthen the legal framework and strengthen the industry and the institutions governing the industry before we can really progress more than this we are right now. Nigeria music industry is one of the fastest growing music industry in the world, but we need to preserve a lot of values in that music industry. For a lot of people to come in and invest, especially foreign people, they need something on ground already they need structures on ground and i pray that we strengthen our own institutions lacon is coming out to drag dj neptune right now we have a lot of dragons in the music industry and i think we need to properly craft laws that will govern the music industry what are your own takes about all of this don't fail to put out in the comment section so that we can talk about it further. This issue of copyright and sampling and then uh, royalties not paid is a common issue in Nigeria music space. And I don't know how the institutions will come up with a particular legal framework to govern this uh, you know, music industry because this is our own pride right now. That is something I believe about the whole thing. I think we should strengthen our institutions to be able to do that. That is something I believe about the whole story. And those institutions that are not working yet, they need to be propped up or some need to be discarded because there are some duplications of institutions in Nigeria, especially when it comes to, you know, entertainment issue and sports. A lot of people are now saying that DJ Neptune, you need to pay Lacon his royalties. That is what it is. And it is a standard in the music industry. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.